Hello everyone and welcome to Witch Ways. I'm Colette and I'm going to talk today about magic and herbs for dreaming and enhancing your intuition through your dreams. Enjoy! There are beginning to really advanced ways of working with dreams, but I find that mostly I work with uh, simpler ways, a few simple actions, and then incorporating the powers of dream and psychic enhancing herbs. I find going outside at twilight to be very helpful. Uh, that time that's very liminal magically between mundane existence and the power of the night. And I also just find it helpful sometimes to go outside right before I go to sleep if I can and open myself either with my thoughts or with my energy and body into the power of the night. I also keep a dream journal by my bed for periods when I'm dreaming a lot and I will try and quickly just page through and review the previous night's dreams before I go to bed or at least look at it and focus on it for a minute before I go to sleep. I find that one of the simplest ways to enhance my dreams is to work with herbs and there are a lot of different ways to do that. You can create an herb pillow for yourself using calming herbs like lavender, hops if you like the scent of it, and mugwort which is the most powerful of all. You can create an herbal steam and the way that I do that is that I take mugwort and mint and put it in a pot of water right at sunset and then set it on just not even low, just barely warm on the stovetop and let it simmer before I go to sleep or maybe not even simmer, just steam a little bit and then turn it off before I go to sleep. I also sometimes wear a small bag or charm of herbs on my person as I go about my day to help me be ready to open into the night or have tucked that inside my pillow. You can also burn herbs that help enhance dreams on charcoal before you go to bed. And I'm going to give a charcoal burning incense in just a little bit down here later in the video. You can also drink a tea or take a tincture. One of the things I find though is that a lot of the herbs that enhance dream work like mugwort are not really great for the body to drink internally on the regular basis, not because they're poisonous, but because they have a lot of other effects on the hormone system, on the digestion, etc. So I do tend to work a little more with steaming and burning. You can also take a bath incorporating tea made of herbs. And another thing that I do that's not quite as effective, but it does work really well, is to make a tea of herbs that are useful for dreaming and then pour them over myself slowly in the shower. You can also try anointing yourself with an herbal salve or an herbal oil that contains herbs for dreaming. And I just put a short up about that yesterday about making mugwort oil. So another minute or two into the video, I am going to talk about some blends that you can use for dream work. But personally, I really never go much further for a basic dream herb than mugwort. Mugwort is strong, it's powerful, and in fact, it makes dreams much more vivid. And so one of the things that you can do is to start with a pillow or a bundle near the bed so that if you find that it's too vivid or it's disturbing your sleep, you can easily move it away. And it also really enhances your dreams from whatever point you're at. So if you don't remember your dreams at all, it will help you remember a little bit and then you just keep working up with it.
This is a blend that is helpful for enhancing intuition in general, but it is also very specific for dreams. So I use this blend as an incense, a loose incense on charcoal. You can also use it as a bath herb, putting either the herbs in a small bath bag and putting it in your bath and rubbing your skin with it, or brewing the tea and then pouring some of the tea either into your bath or over you in a shower. So the blend is three quarters mugwort and then the remaining 25% should be equal parts blue vervain flowers for protecting your nervous system and general protection, hazel bud for calling on divination, the powers of it in general and enhanced intuition and rose petals. And the thing with rose petals is you want to get rose petals that have been grown organically. Hazel buds, you probably will have to harvest yourself. You can leave it out of the blend if you choose, but the time from late January to about early March is a perfect time to harvest them if you have hazels near you. This is my favorite dream recall incense and I take one part rosemary, two parts mugwort, and one part cinnamon. And this is used as a dried powdered incense to be burned on charcoal. A lot of people ask me about protection from nightmares and nightmares are different for everyone. Why you have them, why they're showing up at particular times, you might start to just notice when they occur. So one of the things I do is hang agrimony above my bed or in the doorway to my bedroom. You can also try hanging blue vervain or rosemary. Those are all very protective herbs and sometimes so they will help. After you've had a nightmare, maybe the next night clear the room with a clearing blend of some kind. Rosemary is always good. A couple other simple things that I do that I find helpful with dream work is to, as soon as I wake up, try and remember at least the chapter headings of my most recent dream. The other thing I do is in my journal, I put a star or some other symbol like a pentacle next to any dream that I think might be magical in nature that for some reason or my intuition tells me this is a message from the spirit world that I need to pay attention to. So I'll just star that. I sometimes will notice the moon phases and put that in my journal of times when I'm having particularly powerful or significant dreams. And then I check in with the moon phases if I notice a pattern. For interpretation, there's lots of ideas out there about how to interpret dreams. And that's kind of a bit beyond the scope of a 15 minute YouTube video. However, I find that knowing some other divination systems like card pulls can be helpful. And I'll probably do a short at some point on a basic card pull for dream interpretation. And the thing that I find really useful is if you think you're on the track of what the dream is about, it's really helpful to have some kind of yes or no divination system like a pendulum. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you would check out my Patreon page. Kind of the more I do it, the more excited I am about it because it just provides a lot of information to people for a very low monthly price. And it's a wide variety of content so people can engage with articles or spells or videos in whatever way works best for their learning technique. And so I'm really enjoying it. And I'm going to put links to that down below and probably a link to my short as well. So as always, stay safe and be well.